there's different types of creativity and certainly um, being creative about how to adapt different types of treatments and different types of care to different species, even to different individuals. Um, I'm really creative in that regard. Always kind of adjusting, you know, um, so with really high volumes, you know, you really get into kind of true herd health um, type of rehab. Um, so it makes things a lot easier, it makes it a lot more functional. Um, and even though we're not collecting as much information about each individual, um, overall it helps the staff um, not have quite so much work and not feel so much pressure and stress. Um, but it's a different way of rehabilitating because instead of writing everything down and kind of following a chart and following an animal along and making decisions based on, you know, how much it's eating and its weight fluctuations and what are its blood values and things like that. Instead, we're just solely going on um, more instinct and observation um, and that's how we're picking out the birds that need more assistance. So we're kind of separating them by their issues or you know how well they're eating and graduating them appropriately. So once they're really outside, they're really self-feeding, they're doing well, they don't need very much care at all other than just keeping their enclosures clean and making sure we're not overcrowding and making sure that we're feeding them plenty of food. <laughs>